All right, I'll give you guys a few minutes just to kind of adjust here. Um, I tend to notice that like every time I start a video, like I speak really quickly in the video and when I'm about to post it, it like repeats a little bit of the few seconds. So that's why I kind of like had that silence, that little moment of silence, just to say hi, but in a silent way and then say officially hi guys. It's Monday. Um, anyways, I just finished a little band video um, and on band, I was talking about how recently this morning on Instagram, um, I go to Perspire, you know, quite often and usually they provide you towels. You kind of like get naked and you wrap yourself in a towel. Well, apparently someone asked me, do you do premiums? And it's like, no motherfucker, I don't do premiums. Um, don't be so fucking rude. Um, and by the way, today is Monday. Today is Monday the 30th. It's the last day of September and tomorrow's October. Um, I know, right? I'm so genius. Like who, 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 who decided on today's the last day of September? Um, but anyways, uh, where was I going with this? Oh yes. Mondays. I usually don't wear makeups and today is Monday. So here we go, take a strike a pose. This is my real face. Um, although I've been super lazy, I've not been washing my face, the Tamana, I'll be honest, and I have not poured makeup too. So the only time I usually wear makeup is when I wash my face, like really good. Well, I mean, I'll wash my face in general, but like, I just been so tired and lazy, like I just don't even wash my face. So, but this is what my face look like on a Monday and it's no makeup Mondays. I usually call it like no makeup Mondays, but, um, so that's my face. I don't really like looking at it just cause it's like, like, oh, I wish I can get this like skinnier. I don't know, you always look back at old photos and you're kind of like, God, I wish I really looked that way again. Like I really do. I think my face is less fat or well, it's always been like a round kind of shape, but like, I don't know. But let's just say, um, I do miss being, a natural beauty, I would say, because I never really wore makeup as, as a kid. Um, when I was young, too, I never, like, it was never a thing where I always had to wear makeup every day. Um, I can't actually recall myself making a habit. I never made it a habit. I know that I had to wear makeup um, for for work whenever I worked at a restaurant, I, you know, back in the day, but you know, nothing now. So all I want to say is I think it's how many girls, I want to know how many girls, whoever's watching this, when you guys watch this, um, it's it why, why do you guys, these people, these, I think, I mean, honestly, I think that they're sick. Um, but why would they go and message you on your account and ask you, do you do premiums? Like premium of what? Like, you know, um, if I didn't get these questions asked so often lately, um, whether I do premiums, whether I want a guy that's cut or uncut, do I, you know, do I do privates? Like, you know, sessions. Like if I didn't get that asked so much to finally catch on that, dude, this, guy's a pervert this guy is insensitive to other women obviously he doesn't care of how he's kind of like oh there goes a the squirrel um you know it's just it's just like really you don't even oh two squirrels they're chasing after each other reminds me of uh what 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 movie is that with the squirrels all chasing after each other oh the sword in the stone the little squirrel, oh my God, that's like the cutest, hilarious part. I think I remember as a kid, I would like laugh hilariously at that part with the squirrel, um, just like chasing each other around and falling in love because the other squirrels don't want him because he's actually, I think, a wizard. Um, if you, Have you guys watched Sword of the Stone before? It's a funny movie. I only remember watching that as a child. I've not watched it since I became like a teenager. That's how long ago I've watched Sword of the Stone, but I still remember that part. Um, I could be having remembered it incorrectly, but who knows, whatever. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of get everyone's feedback. Like when you are like me and most of my posts are not sexual, most of my posts are about giving back to the community, helping nonprofits, um, for a cause, like let's save people from cancer or buy my crap, like on like, Marinda or new age like um or celebrating a friend's birthday like that 
that's most of my fucking shit posted on Instagram. Let's just be honest, okay? It's like not sexy crap. It is just crap. It's things that people don't care about because they don't like my post. Let's just be honest. No one likes my fucking shit. I'm surprised you're even watching this. Um, but I'll be honest again and say, uh, I'm thankful for those that do appreciate my crap. I do. I sincerely, honestly do. I, I really do like the fact that people who watch my stuff appreciate it and, or not even appreciate it. I guess they find this freaking comical, could be comical, could be entertaining from what's so, I don't know. It could be. Um, but anyways, for me to post myself going to perspire like I normally do, it happens all the time. Apparently, people out of nowhere see that I'm now in a towel. Um, all it is is showing literally like as if I was wearing a tube top, you know, but I'm wearing a towel wrapped around my body and I'm taking a selfie. That's all I'm doing. And now it's going to make me not want to do that. Like, can you explain why? Like, there's so many weird uptight girls now. It's because constantly people are just kind of, you know, intruding on your personal space in a way. Like you're sharing a little bit about yourself and the next thing you know, you're getting crappy ass people like that kind of asking if you do privates, if you do um, premiums, uh, do you, you know, I don't know. Um, I have, I can't recall, but it's just, I mean, it's like a common thing. I mean, I would have to pull up everything, but I've pretty much blocked and deleted all those messages. So let's just say I did block Jahazad, whatever his name is. Let's uh, let's look that up. So this person, I screenshot it. So this is an innocent, like literally an innocent post. Oh wait, um, where is where is it at? Oh here it is. Okay. So literally, if you guys can see, all it. All it is is me in a show. Like, it looks like halfway. It doesn't even show any cleavage, right? Can you guys... Ugh, I hate that you guys can't see that. Um, so all it says was, do you do premiums? Question mark. Um, not, do you do premiums? Like, he's so goddamn lazy. He has to miss out on a word. Um, but there's a reason why I'm not following this dude. Because... He obviously doesn't respect women. Um, then there's been some, I don't know, but there's this other guy who apparently named Lone Some Lover. If, you, if you're following me, Lone Some Lover from Periscope. Um, you put, you're definitely hot. And I said, thank you, whatever. And uh, also for, you know, messaging me. But where did you find me? Um, a lot of times I get random people just who, who I don't know and they're following and watching my stuff and and all of a sudden they see me in a towel and just say, you look hot in that. Like, first of all, I'm in a sauna. So you pretty are right. I am hot in it. Like, literally. Literally speaking, I'm in a sauna. <laughs> so I'm hot. Um... So no pun intended, right? So anyway, I just, I just, I think it's kind of hilarious. We just don't get it. Like, yes, I'm in a sauna. Yes, it's hot. Um, but you're referring to my looks, apparently not to the, oh, there goes that squirrel again. <laughs> I'm getting a little, just, I'm getting a little just distracted by a little squirrel that's just running across a little uh, wall right there. But um, I think I'm kind of hilarious at this point because it's like people just make this, this, uh, these comments and it's just like, yeah, dude, I'm in a fucking sauna. So I'm hot. Like literally speaking, I'm literally going to burn sweat. I'm going to sweat in the sauna because that's what saunas do. They actually sweat you out. So, um, anyways, again, if you guys have not done it, you have all 31 days to do it. That means donate five dollars or more to the breast cancer awareness for me please um again the link has been on previous ones if you have not checked the info go down click on it donate please it'd be really wonderful um you don't have to use your real name you can just say 
Love you, Michelle. Um, YouTube follower, Periscope follower, Instagram follower, Snapchat follower, Twitter follower. Um, did I say Instagram follower already? Um, Facebook follower. Uh, what else is on social media these days? I don't fucking know. I am so, trying to catch up, trying to catch up, but I can't. Um, but anyways, uh, that's all I want to say, to be honest, I think. Um, and then I really don't know who else watches me. So, but I appreciate those straight, you know, people who I don't know are watching me. Uh, I just wanted to kind of shine some light like I guess the question I did not officially ask is how many women out there who are just like me who don't post anything sexual other than me basically like if you just want to express yourself like in a new bathing suit you know or you know you're wrapped in a towel and you take a selfie is I mean is that really considered too sexy like and I mean it still doesn't give any guy that right to be asking that stuff but how many girls do how many girls feel so um, I, I don't know how do you say it. <sighs> like you feel so grossed out, so disgusted by people like that who try to kind of come on to you for for doing that. I don't know, but I want to say, I apologize that I'm yawning, by the way. I'm not tired. I mean, although I should make some coffee. But I want to say... If there's any girl out there that makes you guys feel so uh, judged, so, um, God, there's that word, that word. I feel so, it's not coming out, guys. It's not coming out. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, a guy's, like, watching you, and you just feel so exposed, so vulnerable so fragile i mean they put me in a, in a position where i just feel so if i can just come up with the words i think i used it on one guy um the one who tried to recently uh like her sexually harass me or molest me type of thing um where's his message ah, here we go i felt so violated there you go. I felt so violated. Yeah. Um, in a way, like he didn't touch me, but to say, do I do premiums? Like I feel a little violated. I feel like my, me exposing myself to just even an inch, like an inch is just too much for me to even want to share. And there's a reason why people don't share anymore because it's like, well, now you're just going to be told that you're too sexy or you deserved it because you showed off this. It's like, really? Are you fucking kidding me? I was just in a fucking towel. Like, people wrap themselves in towels all the fucking time. Are you fucking kidding me? So, um, I just, you know, I mean, it's, and I mean, I, it's okay if a girl does it to me if I know her. Like, there's this girl named Joe. And I have known her brother. I used to work with him at GameStop. And so this was like years back though. And, you know, and she's his sister. And it's just like, she was like, she like put her little heart eyes on that comment. And then when I clicked and opened it up, I was like, oh shit, she actually likes that one. Not me showing off my Sega Genesis or my DS. Uh, pff, I keep calling it a DS. A Nintendo Switch Lite. Because I got the Nintendo Switch Lite, guys. I just didn't bring it with me. Um, but I got the Nintendo Switch Lite in turquoise. Um, and I got the Sega Genesis Mini. But did she like that one? No. She loved me. In the, and I quote, naked. But she spelled it N-E-K-K. -K, um, naked that way. She spelled it naked. And uh, she liked that or she loved that one instead. And I was like, whoa, I thought you would have loved me doing the Sega Genesis. She's like, what, you got a Sega Genesis? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what, you got a light? I'm like, yeah. She goes, she's, oh my God, I don't have time because I have a kid. I'm like, yeah, I know. I, I pretty much have a kid too. She's 96 years old, you know. But anyways, I'm glad I got to do this little get up with you. I'm at work. Got this cool little blue background. They always say, do a solid background. Looks really nice. And I, this, is, this is a good daily thing, right? 
Um, oh, by the way, do you guys like my eyebrows? I don't know if I told you guys. I have no idea when I, the last time I updated you guys. But um, I did my eyebrows. I think I did them before the race day. I think I'm going to do it on Saturday. Anyways, I did my eyebrows. Hopefully, you guys like them. It's been a week since then. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm flipping you guys off, aren't I? Didn't really realize that. Um, but yeah, and then I guess, you know, it doesn't even, it, it's even worse because here, look, in my stories on Instagram, I start off with showing that I'm at the Perspire, I'm at, I'm at the sauna and I'm in a towel, right? And then, uh, then there's a video of me talking about getting my Nintendo Switch Lite in turquoise. And I talk about how like it's too, um, that it's too big for me and I'm like, and then I had like my finger in the way and I felt like, I was like, oh shit, like I'm fingering you guys because I was talking about this, the first switch and then the second switch. And then I was like, but then I only have the, the second switch and then I, I showed my finger. I'm like, oh shit, sorry, my bad. Um, and I was like, and then I talked right after about how the switch was just way too big for me and I need something smaller. And so like, I already thought somebody was gonna be dirty right there with me going, oh, you like it smaller, Michelle? Like, nope. Instead, they'd be get dirty with me in a towel. So I don't get you people. I don't get you people. So again, women out there, do you guys get harassed too? Do you guys get harassed with unwanted um, comments? Do you ever get harassed for unwanted comments for doing something that's completely innocent, completely not even sexual, intentionally sexual at all? Do you guys do that? Do you guys get those? Am I the only person that feels like maybe I'm being um, triggered by this very easily? Um, not that I'm saying like it's a huge big deal, but again, those are my feelings. That's how I feel. I'm entitled to my feelings. I'm entitled to feel if I feel violated, if I feel like these comments are unwanted. Um, but be respectful, be nice. If you guys can put on the comments there, if you guys are have experienced the same thing just let me know um i'd like to really find out um i'd like to do a toll too and and just kind of see why people seem to think that asking if you do premiums and special sessions and do i like it big or small like is it really kind of nice to do that like is it no i don't think it is i don't think it's nice i don't think it's great i don't think it's like I just don't allow it. I don't approve of it. And I have a lot of eyes in it because it's affecting me. Um, but yeah, uh, this I think this is a song that Taylor Swift needs to write about. Like, uh, she needs to make fun of a joke and, and be in the sauna like me and, and take a photo and then get these little weird, awkward messages saying, you know, you, you look hot. It's like, fuck yeah. I'm in a sauna. I am going to be hot. Um, or, you know, like, do you do premiums? Like, hmm, do I do premiums? Nope, I don't. Nope. Last I checked, I don't sell insurance. Last I checked, I, I mean, I don't, I sell memberships at the gym, but I don't, you know, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, again, if you guys ever meet me and you guys are coming into the gym and you're like, hey, Michelle, I watch you on YouTube. Um, let's keep it on the down low, people, because nobody else. I don't tell my coworkers I do this stuff. I do this for the people that come across my videos. So again, as a reminder, do not share my videos with people. If you work with me, or you know me of some sort, don't say, that's that girl. Like, if you are a member here at this gym, do not go and tell people, like, look at Michelle, she's doing her videos, or don't go judging me. I I am pretty 100% authentic Michelle, but still, I have to keep a professionalism. Like, you know, be a little bit professional and keep things good other than the shirt. You know what? I'm using, I'm using like a new shampoo, and I'm like, Something just smells and I just can't get it. And I think it's the shampoo. And I normally really like the smell of the shampoo. But it's just, I guess it is a shampoo. I'm not really quite 100% honest. But like, look how dull this hair is. I need to add more, I need to add darkness. The blonde, this like weird blonde hair is just not cutting it for me. Not cutting it at all. 
Uh, what time is it right now? Ooh, it's almost eight o'clock. Um, cool, cool, cool. Uh, eight o'clock means I should nap for like 30 minutes, possibly. Possibly, I don't know. Um, but we can all agree Michelle needs a haircut. I do need a haircut. Yeah, it's just haircut, hair color, whatever the case. I still did not do it. I wanted to do it in pink for, um, the walk, but it's okay. Let's just do purple. How about that? We'll just do purple. Okay, cool. Time to end. Yeah, possibly. All right. See you guys later. Let me know in the comments if any girl you know as well gets bombarded with rude comments on their posts, uh, especially if they don't follow each other. Um, not from a friend, but just in general from like weirdo guys who are all Googling you. That would be so fantastic. Bye. See ya.